It's not funny, Ed. <laughs> hey, shut up! <laughs> Will you knock it off? <laughs> well, he started it. What's up, everyone? Sag here. Have you seen all of the Dodo Hyena shenanigans going on with Scorpion? I know I have. They've, they've been everywhere. Everyone's done a video about it. So today, instead, I thought I would do something a little bit different. And instead of using Dodo Hyena Scorpion, I am going to be using three different pets that I think could also be useful with this. Um, and those three pets are Porcupine, Piranha, and Sabertooth Tiger. Now, I decided to pick pets that, you know, aren't necessarily that good, nor uh, are they easy to scale. I guess Porcupine is a little bit easier to scale because it is tier 4. However, it's not really that good. So I wanted to see if this Dodo Hyena uh, method could make it a bit better. Clearly not as good as Scorpion. I think Scorpion will be the all-time winner of that. I mean, it's just so incredibly powerful. Getting a basically a 150 with uh, Poisonous, you know, that's kind of hard to beat, especially if you add something like Lionfish or, um, you know, something to break melons so you basically assure that uh, the scorpion one hits something so but i wanted to see if these three units could could like just see if they were any better and i think from my uh, findings i think piranha was the most useful um i think there's also a problem of having to get so many units so, like, you know, getting them to tier, not tier, uh, getting them to level 2 and 3 is really important because, like, these level 1 abilities that they have are, like, basically garbage. But you also need, like, your Dodo to be uh, level 2. You have to have a Hyena on the team. I ended up adding Skunk to basically, like, every team because when you disrupt that way, so maybe you could get, like, um, if they had a 50-50 and you had a level 3 Skunk, then you could turn their 50-50 into a 51, and then Hyena would trigger and make it a 150, and then I thought maybe perhaps, um, like, Piranha could take advantage of that, uh, give, like, basically everything in the back up to 50 attack. Um, same with, like, Sabretooth, maybe it could get off, like, a lot of triggers, get a lot of ants or something, I don't know. Sabretooth spawning tier 1s is not, like, the best, but... And then Porcupine... Yeah, there ain't, there ain't a whole lot you can do about that, man. He's he's pretty sad. But uh, this game that I'm showing you first is the Piranha game. So this is this video is going to be a little bit different. We're, we're going to go for a long length of time, much, much longer than my normal post-commentary videos. Um, normally, they're only around like maybe 10 to 12 minutes, maybe 8 to 12 minutes, actually. Um, and this one's going to be more towards 15 because we're showing three different games. This one is the full length because I, I found it to be um, the most worthwhile game. This is the first game with Piranha. As you can see, we, we've started out pretty damn good. We already have a Hyena too, which I don't really know if that's that good. But, you know, it's it's working out okay. We, we at least win there. Uh, getting Dodo to level 2 will be pretty damn important. Um... And then the second game that we have is going to be Porcupine, and that game's absolutely wild, and, and you'll see. And uh, we're not going to start from the beginning for both games. I'm just going to start uh, where the action basically comes into play. And uh, boy, is there action in the Porcupine game. The Sabretooth game was kind of lackluster. I feel like all of the games, um, not getting like exactly what you need, as also with um, not being able to level them up, I think... You know, if once you get Porcupine to level three, uh, same with like Piranha and Sabretooth, they become a lot better. But that's the problem, man. You got to get them to level three. Like, it, by the time that happens, like the game's you know one turn left. Either that, or you're you're definitely winning before it even gets to there. Uh, we decided to go for a Stego here. Actually, pretty nice. See, th this was another reason this game was nice because um, already on turn ten, we have nearly the full setup. Um, I mean, we technically do if I don't want Skunk. 
but this is it. So um, it, it felt the best. I got to use it for the longest amount of time, I would say. And it actually felt like it made a little bit of a difference. I mean, look at all this attack that we're getting here. Uh, Dodo basically a 50-50 at this point. We are actually able to tie because of that. So that's another thing. Um, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, getting a lemon on the piranha is probably for the best. And then, of course, something to scale. You know, just anything to get a little bit of more um, attack power on the piranha is, is going to be very nice. You know, you don't want it to go down without at least trading for the first unit, I think. Um, overall, these games were very interesting. There's definitely more units that you could use. Like, I think um, Hippo and Rhino. Of course, I think I showed Gorilla before. All of those units are very good for this. Dodo's just an exceptional unit. Probably one of the best tier twos by far. You, like, you scale one unit and you basically get two out of it. So it's kind of hard to beat, especially at tier two. So I'm very interested to see the, the future going forward with Dodo and its absolute strength. Um, I would ended up not going for Hippo or Rhino because they're a little bit easier to scale. Again, I could have used Porcupine, but let's be real. We've had plenty of opportunities to use Dodo, Hippo, Dodo, Rhino already. I guess the inclusion of um hyena changes that but i don't think it changes it that much it's going to be very very similar and honestly the dodo doesn't really help out those units anyways they were already like decently strong okay well maybe not rhino um but rhino you know it only needed really attack to be able to take out the first unit switching this stuff up with hyena that's just sort of like uh, a bonus so I, I really wanted to use units that felt a little bit different with it. This is nice too, getting the skunk in here, um, immediately making the skunk higher attack than the hyena, so it triggers first. He's got his own hippo, but again, that attack that I get from Piranha is just way too much. It's actually pretty good. I, that, that's why I felt so good about it. I did also get it to level 2, so that was really nice. And then the team is basically done here. I... I could have bought more chocolate to get a level 3 skunk, but I wanted um, more equipment, a little more stats, because it, clearly I'm not scaling, I'm done scaling here. Um, I wanted a melon on my skunk, and then of course, any any bit of stats that I could get. It would have been nice to go for a level 3 piranha, um, or something like that, but being on lethal with a non-scaling team, I mean, I have stego, but that's it, it only scales one unit, and uh, we don't want it to scale the dodo anymore, because... Um, it actually gives it up to 50 attacks, so it's kind of pointless. But overall, I think this was a, a pretty decent run for the Piranha. And then after this, so, I mean, it worked out. It worked out. It was overall pretty good. Like I said, Dodo's just so versatile. And we get into this run. This is the uh, Porcupine run. And it was just, I mean, the game itself with the Porcupine, like, Porcupine did nothing but double T-Rex on turn 9, and I knew this was going to be a wild game. We already have the Skunk, too. The Skunk is massive, and Dodo's only going to get bigger from here. We could have honestly used uh, just about anything. Um, that's, the, that's the problem with this. It's like, you don't need Piranha, you don't need Porcupine, you don't need anything. It could literally be any unit. We could use a mouse. We, we, could, we could use a pill bug. Like, it doesn't matter what the Dodo is buffing. Dodo, just those raw stats from Dodo is all you need. Um, the little extra bits that you get, I mean, is basically why you buy the Piranha and stuff. I mean, there was a Scorpion there. I could have taken it, like, right then. Um, and it's funny because I did Dodo Scorpion in the past, but never was there a hyena for me to, to play around with. So I'm so surprised that after the new pets came out, that never occurred to me. I, so I, I'm, I feel very, I guess, ashamed. It's like, man, how did I not catch that? Like, I've done Dodo Scorpion before. That felt kind of bad. So I was like, man, I got to do something else. And so now we, we have this stupid shit where I, I'm trying different different things with it. Um, if you have any other uh, pet ideas that you think would, would go good with uh, Dodo, uh, Hyena, and then whatever, 
uh, let me know in the comments. I, I would be very interested to, to hear your thoughts, your hypotheses on on such a an animal. But yeah, this uh, this video is a little bit different for, for its length, first of all, and then um, three games. I don't think I've ever uploaded something with three games in it. I guess, uh, well, I mean, that's a lie because <laughs> I did the gauntlet and everything. Um, and look at this man, two level two T-Rexes at like the porcupine, like the Dodo almost doesn't even matter at this point because the porcupine is going to be so massive. Also like it getting the 48 attack, anything could get the, the 48 attack here or 37 attack. Honestly, it'd probably be better if the T-Rex was getting it, but you know, what, what can you do? And I'm just going to have double T-Rex until I find a uh, hyena because I mean, clearly there's there's no point in doing that. Uh, T-Rex wasting the gold every turn also sucks because, you know, you that's less gold that you have to, to look for the pets that you need. And at this point, uh, Piranha, or uh, Piranha, fucking uh, Porcupine, can't really do anything. I, I keep buffing it up, hoping like, oh, maybe maybe it'll do something. But look, even, even against these vultures, man, level 2 and level 3 vulture, they were dealing like what was that, 8 and 12 damage every time two things died, 20 damage? Dude, that was way too much. My piranha, or, uh, dude, I keep calling it piranha. My porcupine was only level 1. What's he gonna do, man? And now my dodo's 50 attack. It's like, oh, buddy. So it feels, it feels a little bad. Thankfully, our skunk is level 3, so we can actually do something about that. And we finally find the hyena a little bit, a little bit late here, but, and at this point, I mean, our porcupine is massive. Like he doesn't he doesn't need a dodo buff. At least I put melon on it, so maybe like if there's a pepper that hits it, it might be able to survive and then it would it would kill something with pepper. Um that seemed like a decent idea. And there there it was in action. I should have had the porcupine up front. The six damage is like negligible though. Like it, it does nothing. Even even if it was level two, the twelve damage is almost like nothing. It it only works against uh, snipers. It might it might as well be one damage, is uh, my thoughts on it. Also, the level three T Rex. I mean, the again, we could have had basically anything for this team, and it would have dominated. You know, I I, I thought that I had like more more to say on this, but I, I really don't. We we are gonna get into the last match here which is uh, Sabretooth. And I feel like Sabretooth could have worked out a bit better if I, um, I don't know, if, if I played a little better. <laughs> also, if I, if I went for a level 2 Sabretooth very quickly, instead, I do the same thing and try to go for a level 3 Skunk. Also, pick up uh, a little bit of Milky action. And this is a pretty early game to turn 11... Um, eight wins. I find my first saber tooth, but overall, um, you know, it, it's not even gonna do anything this turn. I had it uh in the front anyway, so it wouldn't have done anything. So after that, I definitely have to switch it up. We do find the hyena immediately afterwards, which is very nice. I could have bought some steak, but I was hoping to find lemon. I thought lemon would be a little bit better on saber tooth. Also, um, all of these games were in my winning pack. I'm pretty sure I had all the pets in them, so Sabretooth, Piranha, Porcupine, the whole time. I don't know if the pack is exactly the same, but if, I'll leave it in the, uh, the description anyways. And as you can see, we get a 733, so not awful. We do actually uh, kill something there, but it is not enough to actually do anything. Uh, like I said, getting a level 2 would probably be much better, but instead I just have to buy good equipment. Can't really just hope for chocolates everywhere. Another steak. It will have really low attack, so that will uh, balance it out. Honestly, the, the swapping of the attack here from Hyena is just, it just feels bad. It's kind of funny here, though, because you get a, a 123 camel, turns it into a 23-1, the elephant immediately kills it. That was actually really, really good. The hyena tech man. I bet that guy was so upset if he if he ran up against his team. Um, overall, though, I I did enjoy this. As you can see, I played multiple times, so I was I was very happy with these games, at least to to this extent. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any ideas about this yourself.
Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And you know what? Have a wonderful day.